My name is Alice Mangello and I'm the program leader for the BA ONS Childhood Practice. I've been the program leader for the past 15 years at the university, but my experience within the childhood practice sector amounts to around 30 years. It's a really exciting time to be working in the childhood practice sector at the moment. What with the expansion in hours for early learning and childcare, that we're now looking at perhaps an aspiration that the sector would be degree qualified. So this is a really um, opportune time for you to consider further developing your own personal development as well as your professional development within the childhood practice sector. The childhood practice sector covers a range of different settings and those, those could range from early learning and childcare settings, we could be looking at play groups, after school clubs, we could also be looking at childminders and residential childcare. So when you think of childhood practice often people will think uh, focus on early learning and childcare but actually it's much broader than that. So the course is generally studied part-time. You can accommodate your studies around your ongoing uh, work life and family life experiences. Generally you'll study three modules each academic year. Each year of the degree is made up of six modules. The duration of your study will depend on what you come with in terms of your previous qualifications. So one of the entry requirements for the BA is that you have already completed previous to starting a level seven qualification that is registrable with the Scottish Social Services Council, which is your professional registering body. So those qualifications can range from an SVQ, an HNC, a PDA or an HND. And once we know what qualifications that you bring with you, we then can determine what your study route will be through the degree in terms of how long it will take you to complete the degree and also what modules you will study. Generally, the average time for completing the degree is a, it's actually quite broad. It could be as less as two years part-time study, but it could actually be up to six years. But I would say that the average length of time to complete the BA is around about four years. If you yourself earn less than 25,000 a year, SAS, the Scottish um, Awards Agency, will actually cover your fees. If you do earn more than 25,000, it is possible to negotiate a, play, a payment plan and that then allows you to spread the cost of your studies over a period of time rather than you having to pay everything up front. I think one of the real key aspects of the degree is that it is a work-based learning degree. And that means that everything that you're studying at the university is in some ways connected to your ongoing professional um, practice and development in the, in the setting that you're employed. And that means that as you learn, you're then going to apply the theoretical perspectives that you're learning, your understanding of the legislation, national documents, policy, you're going to apply that to your practical competencies as they're developing in your workplace. And that the assessments that you will do as part of the modules will very much draw on you making that connection between the theoretical and the practical and professional competencies that you're developing. And I think that's a real strong part of the, the degree because while you're working, you're, you're actually learning at the same time and you're, you're reflecting that back into your studies. And then it's the other way, as you're learning through your studies, you're reflecting that back into your developing professional competencies. One of the other entry requirements for the BA is that you do need to uh, be employed in the sector, the childhood practice sector, throughout the, the duration of your studies. And we would say that we would be looking at you to be employed for around about 21 hours a week throughout the duration of the programme. And that that's permanent, permanent hours, that you're employed permanent throughout the duration. The other aspect is that because the BA Childhood Practice is the qualification that's accepted by Scottish Social Services Council for registration as a lead practitioner or a manager. With that in mind, one of the other um, entry requirements for the BA is that you have been working in the sector for at least two years after you've completed your level seven practice-based qualification. And that's because we have to, in some ways, honour the idea that the degree is aimed at lead practitioners and managers. So if you're viewing this and you're in a situation where you've just recently been qualified, I would give yourself some time to build up the experience within the sector before you apply for the BA 
or you could look at other degree programmes that the university offers, for example the BA Ons Child and Youth Studies, which is a theory-based degree. And it is possible for students to start that degree and transfer to BA Childhood childhood practice later on in their studies once they've built up their experience within working in the sector. One of the real positive aspects of the BA Childhood Practice is that it's delivered fully online but I think it's really important to remind ourselves what that means when we say fully online. This doesn't mean that it's a distance learning course where you're left on your own to get on with your learning. It's very much a supported online learning and teaching experience. The online platform that we use at the moment is Brightspace and this space offers us ways of interacting with students um, in a way that's quite innovative and creative. Just as you would in a classroom space, the Brightspace offers us online classroom spaces where tutors are able to you know, speak with students immediately or we have discussion board forums where students can engage with their wider um, body of students as well as the tutor engage in conversations of what's happening in the module during that week or maybe you know, you're speaking about something that's linked to your ongoing professional practices. So there's, there's lots of different ways that the tutors will engage with you within this online forum. As well as the formality of this online learning and teaching forum, it's really important as part of your online learning experience that you also engage with your wider uh, body of students. Many of our students engage outside of the formal learning environment through um, a Facebook page that they've created. They've also got WhatsApps that they've created for all of the modules that they're studying. I think this is really important because this offers that level of informality where students can speak with each other, they can engage with each other outside of the formal classroom. You know, if I remember when I was a student in the 80s, we called that the pub. You know, you went to the pub and that's where you interacted with your fellow students. And although you might think, okay, well, there's an element of informality there, what I actually think these informal spaces do is they help students to feel connected. They help you to feel connected to your wider body of students, but they also help you feel more connected to the programme. So I think it's really important when you're studying online, and I think the BA Childhood Practice offers this, that you develop and become part of the um, online learning community that's offered to you within the formal learning and teaching space, Brightspace, but also within the more informal spaces that the students themselves create. I think some of the unique aspects of the BA, well, I think there's quite a, a few of these unique aspects. I think one is that it is possible to study it fully online and therefore you're able to remain in your local community, continue to work within your workplace settings, as well as study towards achieving a degree. So I think that in itself is one of the unique aspects the degree offers if you're considering studying at the University of the Highlands and Islands. And that offers you that element of flexibility to be able to shape your studies um, around your ongoing daily um, workplace exp working um, experiences and also your family commitments. The other unique aspect of the BA Childhood Practice is that it's the only degree that is registrable with the Scottish Social Services Council as a lead practitioner or as a manager. So if you are, are aspiring to be in one of those roles in the near future, then this would be the degree that you would need to complete to be able to register with your professional body. Or if you're in that position already as a lead practitioner or a manager, this will be what the uh, Scottish Social Services Council has stated as one of the qualifications that you need to do to gain registration with them. So once you've completed the BA Childhood Practice, there's actually quite a lot of further opportunities that you could consider. So while the BA Childhood Practice is the qualification for registration as a lead practitioner or a manager, many students now are using it to step out with the uh, childhood practice sector and gain employment in a variety of different roles. For example, some of my students are now working within the care inspectorate um, and I've actually lost count of the number of childhood practice graduates who now are my fellow colleagues. They're now actually working with me as tutors on the BA Childhood Practice. So if you're thinking about the BA Childhood Practice, what I would want to encourage you to consider is 
that it doesn't limit your opportunities to have to remain within the childhood practice sector, that there's actually a diverse and a wide range of other opportunities and other doors that open to you once you've completed the degree. So when you're studying the modules as part of your BA programme, you will be supported by a number of people. Uh, the main person that you'll be supported by is the module tutor, and they'll be in the modules in the Brightspace learning environment, supporting you throughout the uh, module that you're studying. They will be holding online collaborate sessions and chatting with you on the discussion board as part of that module learning experience. The other person who's really key to your um, ongoing learning journey is your personal academic tutor or your PAT as we call them. Your PAT is somebody that will support you throughout your journey. So as soon as you are offered a place on the program, you are allocated a PAT who will stay with you throughout your studies. They are in some ways in the world of childhood practice referred to as your key worker. They are sort of your key linchpin at the university and they support you academically, they'll support you pastorally, and they'll also support you administratively if you maybe are looking at needing a bit more time to complete your assessments or maybe you're needing to take a break, but they are a key person who will support you throughout your learning journey in all of the different challenges that you face. Studying the BA Childhood Practice could be defined as a roller coaster ride. There's going to be lots of highs and really points of excitement where you pass an assessment and you're doing really well. And there could also be periods of low where you're struggling and you're trying to figure out what it is that they're expecting of you. What are the tutors wanting of me? What is it that I need to do for this piece of work? But I would like to say that learning is challenging. Learning is something that will push you out of your comfort zone. And I don't think that you can come on to the BA without actually not realising that this is going to be a challenge for you, but it's a challenge through which you will be supported by your module tutors, by your personal academic tutors, by your fellow students and also by me as the programme leader.